Hello, in this video we're going to set it up so that when our character doesn't move for a certain period of time, he will start to do his idle animation. I found a more efficient way to do this than in my previous video. And, I've added it so that my player will do a different idle animation depending on certain conditions. As some of you asked how to make it so that the player does a different idle animation, for example if he was holding a sword or if he is on a bench. So I've added a wizard mode, and when my character is in wizard mode, he will start to do a bunch of different idle animations. So if we head over to the mannequin folder and go into the animation folder, I have a bunch of different idle animations for my characters doing idle animations and for when my character's magical mode will be activated. And then next we want to head over to our character's blend space 2D. So we just double click and open it up. And this contains my character's running, walking and idle animation. So we want to delete the idle animation as we want to set this up later. And we just want to move the walking one to the zero point. And now this will just contain my character's walking and running animation. So we can save and close this. Then we want to head over to the third person animation blueprint and we want to set up his idle animation state. So now our character is just going to be walking and running by default. We don't want that. We want to set up an idle animation first. So I'm going to drag in the third person idle animation. So the first thing my character is going to do is go into his idle animation. But he needs to be able to go into his also his running animation state. So we'll just drag a plug in there. And we want to double click in here and have a new condition. I'm going to call this is moving. So when my character is moving, he's going to go into his whole running animation state. So we'll just plug this in and then go to vault. And then we'll just drag another arrow going from idle slash run back to the third person idle. And we'll double click on this and just drag in is moving and drag in not boolean. So when our character is not moving, he's going to go back to his idle animation state. We just need to set this all up in the event graph so it works. So off of try get pawn owner, I'm going to drag off this and look for get last movement input vector. And from here, we want to drag off this and look for vector length. And then off of this, we want to look for greater than, and this will just tell us the speed of the character. And if this is greater than zero, we want to set his moving to true and it will let our character know that he is moving and should be doing his walking or running animation. So we'll just compile this. So now that we set this up, we're going to set it up so when our character does nothing for a couple of seconds, he goes into his idle animation state. So I'm just going to delete this and we're going to right click and look for new state machine. And this is going to control our car what idle animation our character does. So we just double click inside here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag in my character's default third person idle and plug this in. Then I'm going to drag in uh, this other idle animation. It doesn't matter for now. And we'll just plug this in. And then we want to go inside here and into the free space we want to right click and look for current time third person idle. And then off of this return value we want to look for greater than or equal. So if it's greater than or equal to one second so if my character does this animation for more than one second, he's going to go into his idle animation too. But we want this to be a bunch of random animations, so we'll just delete this. And instead, we're going to right click and look for random sequence player. And just plug this in. If we click on the random sequence player, we just want to click shuffle mode. Then we're going to add three elements. And these are going to be the different random idle animations it can select. So I'm just going to select my third person idle animation, so I have three. So I'm going to select idle 2 for the first one, and then idle 3 for the second one, and then just the default third person idle. So after one second, my character is going to transition into these different idle animations. So if we just click compile, we can already see it happening in the left screen, but we can test this out on the game. So if I click play, if I leave for one second, my character will start to do his random idle animations. And we can move about and nothing happens, and if we wait, Again, for one second after doing nothing, our character will go into his idle animations. So now I want to set up the magic mode. So when my character's in magic mode, he does a bunch of different idle animations. So if we go back to the main screen. So to set this up, off of the third person idle, I'm going to look for my magic animation. So I'm going to drag in this magical idle animation and we'll just plug this in. And just plug that in there. And if we double click, to enter this transition, we're going to need to be in magic mode. So I'm going to just create a new variable and call this magic mode. And when we're in magic mode, we're going to start to do a bunch of different idle magic mode animations. So I'll just plug that in. And then for the reverse, we need to drag in magic mode. 
and then look for not boolean so when we're not in magic mode we'll go back to our default idle animations and now we're going to set up the whole magic mode animation so we're just going to delete this and do the same thing we did previously create a new state machine and inside here it will control what random idle animation our character will do so we'll, i'm just going to drag in magic idle as this will be the first idle animation my character does and then we'll just drag in another one and we'll just plug this in and then inside here we'll do the same thing we're going to look for current time uh magic underscore idle and then off of this return value and look for greater than or equal to and like i said we can make this two but i'm just going to make it one so after one second my character is going to start to do his random idle animations so to set that up we want to go in here delete this and right click and create a random sequence player like we did and i'll just plug this in and tick shuffle mode so it just selects them randomly and i'm adding my idle animations so i have mg underscore idle 2 and then i'm gonna add another one so mg underscore idle 3 and then i'll add my last one mg idle so now we have our different magic animations to play between so off of mg idle we need to just plug this into the idle slash run so when we are moving we go back to our normal just walking running and jumping cycle so i'll just plug in is moving so now that we've set this up we're going to set it up on our third person character so that he can trigger idle mode so in some free space i'm just gonna right click and look for the z key i want to press the z key and we'll make it go to magic mode so we're dragging this mesh from his mesh we want to look for get anim instance as from here we can reference his animation blueprint and then off of return value i'm going to look for cast to third person animation blueprint and then we can just plug in the pressed into that then I'm going to off of this drag and make a flip flop. And as the third person animation blueprint, we're going to set magic mode. So when we press the Z key, he's going to start to do his magic mode animations. And we'll just plug, tick this box and plug A into that. I'm just going to control C and control V. And when we click this button again, we're going to leave magic mode and go back to our default idle animations. And I'm just going to drag in this hat and set its visibility. This is just to show that my character will be in his magic mode. So I'm just going to plug this in and tick it. And quickly just uh, plug this in and check that. So now we can test out this whole system. So if we click play and move, wait for a second, our character will start to do his auto animation. So he's doing it, we can move around. And it cancels it, so if I press Z, he enters his magic idle animation and he'll start to randomly do his magic idle animations. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.